Now, Juice World, what's next for him? Where is Juice World headed, musically speaking? I was uh, thinking about this conversation when that Bandit song featuring NBM Boy dropped the other day. Since I absolutely love the song, okay, I've been bumping that heavy, heavy, heavy. I noticed that it's been a while since I've felt that way about something Juice has released. And I was kind of, you know, thinking in my head and asking myself, how come that's the case? Juice World was hands down one of the, if not the biggest artists to come out in 2018, at least in hip hop. I mean, just look at how big Lucid Dreams became. The song was out a year before it even took off. And that Kobe a video changed everything for him. Ever since then, things have been on the up and up for Juice, although of course he hasn't released anything that's gotten on that Lucid Dreams level, which I doubt he will by the way because the song is just way too big, the panda effect, but a song Robbery did decently well. And I was actually very surprised that Hear Me Calling didn't do way better because of the appeal of the record. But to keep it real, Robbery is an all around better song though, so I'm not even complaining. Let's talk a little bit about his uh, latest release though, which was of course Death Race for Love. Now the most obvious criticism towards this project is the length of it. Yes, it could have been way, 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 way shorter. To be honest, uh, I think Goodbye and Good Riddance was 10 times better because it was so much to the point. Juice wasn't wasting any time on it. He did a really great job at doubling down on what makes him a great artist. When it comes to an album having a diverse sound, I'm all for it, as long as the quality of the music doesn't get sacrificed in any kind of way, which actually was uh, one of my biggest issues with uh, Death Race for Love. The project, at least to me, sounded a little bit all over the place, and it was hard to pinpoint the direction he wanted to take the sound in at times. There was wasn't any kind of a cohesion to it, which I think Goodbye and Good Riddance had. I think he strayed away a little bit too much from what makes him dope. And you know, essentially when it comes to Juice, at least musically, he doesn't have a really wide range. Of course, there's always room for growth, but there's a very particular sound that he always does better at. Look at his song Black and White, look at Lean With Me and even Legends. You're gonna see a pattern here. Even though he's a melody heavy artist, he's not really over the top with it. You can hear that it's actually very natural for him to be in harmony with the instrumental. There's always a little team play between him and the beat going on. Juice World simply does an amazing job at making everything sound free flowing. And I think Bandit with MBM Boy is a really good example of this. He may not be the best artist out there, but I do think he does really well with what he has. For Juice World now, it's all about stepping it up a notch and staying creative with his melodies, flows, and vocals. The thing about Juice World is his style can get old very quickly, and not everyone is willing to hear the same thing over and over again, especially when there isn't, you know, that much you can do in his specific lane. Obviously, I'm generalizing a little bit here, and it depends on from artist to artist, but I do think there's a danger in boxing yourself in stylistically, and it's very important to tease people with different sounds. That's why I personally loved what Lil Skies did with his uh, latest release, More Money, More Ice. It wasn't really an outstanding track or anything like that, but he did something different, which is the point. As far as uh, Juice World, though, I think his next step is gonna have to involve him stepping outside of his box a little bit. Is he gonna go out of his way to give us something that differs from what he usually makes? What exactly is that gonna sound like? He clearly knows how to put together a great song. Now, the only thing that's left is is putting all the pieces together so hopefully the next project he drops can be even better so yeah that's all i have to say about this topic but what do you personally think about this whole conversation regarding juice world what would you personally say is next for juice definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this